Hey guys, what's up? My name is Travis Monsod and you're tuned into my channel, Travis Monsod. Of course, this is a precursor channel to the Stay Future Proof channel I'm putting up next year. And I hope that you're all excited for that. Of course, we're in a different setting. We are in my good friend JP Calderon's unit here in... Should I mention the name? Yes, you may. <laughs> okay, we're in uh, Cedar Crest. Yes, yes. Cedar Crest in Akasha Estates. And as promised, We've been talking about having a vlog in his place where we feature his tech. It's also a good thing that my friend Wacky is here from Davao, also going to show what he has. And of course, we want to acknowledge one other person in the room that we, that we want to show you. She's actually shy. Yeah, say hello, <laughs> say hello. But she won't come out, she won't come out. But she won't come out because she's not ready yet. She doesn't, she doesn't have makeup. So we're here to talk about tech and what these guys bring around with them. Of course, this is a, this is a tech channel. And I want to start off the question with what's the three most important things, tech, that you bring along with you guys? On a daily basis, ba right? Wacky. Um, my phone. Which is a which is an iPhone six. It's an old one, but reliable. Uh, my power bank, an anchor. How many? How many um, milliamps? Uh, I think I got the ten thousand milliamp hour. Ten k, all right, all right. And then, well, of course, my charging cable. And that's pretty much it. If I don't have a bag with me. And so that's that, that's, that's on your person. That's on my person. Right. JP, on your person. Um, three things. I have my, a USB, just one, a one twenty eight gig USB. Is this for DJing? No, just to carry. Just like to carry in my pocket. Yeah. Just the one. Um, Not in like what's inside. Oh. Uh, Whatever. Well, default music. Music. But the reason I carry such a big amount, uh, like a big space, is like when. On the spot, diba? Like when you get to, like, oh, dude, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, this and that, or for yeah. a movie, can I get like yeah. one or two movies from you? Or here's a crate that I brought. You never know yeah. when you need to do like transfer or get yeah. data from someone. Well, that's one. Um, and the other two would be my phone and my ear pods, if that's what you call them. Ear pods, uh, the Apple, 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 the, the small case? No, all I have is the cable because that goes straight to the car. So two cables into one charger in the car. Are these the wireless earpods? Yes. Okay. So they go charge the, the carrying case, yeah, which yeah. in turn charges the pods. Yeah. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. Alright, so that's the first question. The second question that I'd like to ask you guys is, what do you guys have in your tech bags? Okay, these are the backpacks that, that uh, you have to bring. And let me throw in a little fun, um, how do you say it, a fun category. It's what you guys, or what you guys cannot live without in your tech bags. Oh, oh. Alright, so five things in your tech bag. <laughs> ah, let me start. Okay. Let me start. Alright, so what I bring around with me in my tech bag is, of course, I bring my MacBook Pro. And then I bring a pouch with all my cables and all my power banks and chargers. Of course, I only have one charger to charge everything. That's the anchor and a power in and and a thirty thousand milliampere battery to also charge the gadgets, the portables, and the and the MacBook uh, Pro. I also bring my headphones, of course, for uh, DJing, and that of course entails all the USBs. And of course, I'm using the Pioneer C70 head, um, headphones. So that is all in my bag. And right now, I'm actually bringing the camera, the the M3, the Canon M3, and a little bit of the vlogging gear for this episode. But normally, I have those in my tech bag. Uh, let's start with Japes. Yeah, okay. Tech bag. <laughs> tech bag. Tech bag. Tech man bag. Or uh, tech bag. Of course, the my laptop. Um, at the MacBook Pro, brand, the one with the touch. Yeah, yeah. The touch, yeah. touch yeah. Mac, MacBook Pro. Uh, 15 inch. Oh, very big. Uh, MacBook, <laughs> yeah, ma mahina na mata. <laughs> <laughs> and come on, um, 
um, <laughs> live by Texas. True, yeah, true. Yeah, it's better. Yes, no, yes. Yeah, no, not, not necessarily. <laughs> but um, yes, I do. Uh, the MacBook Pro with the touchpad. I have my HD 25 um, headphones, 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 which I am going to bench soon because oh. I placed an order for some custom TMA tools that are coming in the mail tomorrow. I've heard of those. I've heard of those. Yeah, I got nice. the modular ones for DJing and for studio. So, yes. yes. Nice. Are these the... Oh, so they're the TMA tools. Yes. yes. Okay, not the studios. No. No. Bigger, I, the bigger cup ones. No. You, I, I bought the bigger cup ones also that you can swap out. Oh, okay. Right, uh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Um, I won't even ask how much, but yeah, it's not, <laughs> do the nice do website, the nice. website. <laughs> pa power bank, definitely, yeah. just, um, cables, cables, USB, USB, <laughs> um, for some reason, I have so many of them, um, nothing below 64, yes, yeah. um, that's a must now, um, I got a question for you though, with your USBs, do you use, uh, US the regular USBs or do you have the OTGs? Like on one side you have the regular, on one side you have the C. I have both. Okay, that's good. I have uh, the ones that do both and I have the ones that are just dedicated to the old U. What do you call the yeah, the old ones? USB USB yeah, the USB A. Yeah, USB A. Still not comfortable with the ones with um, the C. Yeah, with both. So I rather do one of each. Okay. All right. Any hubs? Yes, I do. I have two. I have the one that has at least three slots that goes straight to the laptop. 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 And I also have the single adapters per USB. Okay. Uh, from okay. A to C. Okay. Right, right. Not confident with the hubs for some reason, okay. especially when plugging a USB B to a C. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's kind of weird having a hub and then it just feels weird sticking out. So I rather have an adapter that goes straight. Okay. Okay. Fair so, enough, fair enough. That's all actually in my bag. USB, DJ headphones. So it's, it's the typical um, DJ producer thing. Bag. But when I go do the longer shows, there's more crap more in my bag. We'll go to that. We'll go to that. We'll go to that. All right, Wacky. Uh, for me. No, wait, Wacky, wait. Let me just cut you off there. Wacky is a special case because basically he goes back and forth to Manila. Yes. So his tech bag should be more. Portable. Yes, uh, it's it's more portable. If if I go to Manila on a short trip, short trip meaning uh, seven days and less. Okay. Anything longer than seven days okay. is, so is a long trip. It's already. a given. Okay. So when I come to Manila for a max of seven days, I only bring one backpack with all my clothes there. My I've seen it. I've witnessed it. <laughs> I've witnessed it. It's actually small enough and you wouldn't believe that I packed so much <laughs> in that bag. Yeah. I've seen it. I've seen it. <laughs> so, uh, all my clothes for 7 days and a 15 inch uh, MacBook Pro. Retina. Retina, Retina yeah. right. A 2013 model. Uh, I bring in my, my DJ headphones as well, which is a Pioneer uh, C70. And uh, inside that Pioneer uh, DJ headphone pouch. pouch, I have a small case for my USBs. Uh, three USBs for my DJing, uh, a 16 gig, a 32, and a 128. And I have another 128, which is, w the sole purpose is uh, Mac OS installation. That's it. So just in case, my laptop breaks down, my OS breaks down, I have wow. I have a OS, I have a Mac OS ready to install it or clear my hard drive. Yeah. <laughs> well we were just talking about uh, we were just talking about what you have in the bag, but we haven't talked about what we had in you know inside those gadgets. But we'll get about yeah, we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there too. But I also have a hundred twenty gigabyte USB with the OS. So that you can boot up from it. Those are your emergencies. Emergencies. Emergencies, yeah. yes. That's so there, um, and I also bring my, my of course, the the 10,000K uh, power bank, my, uh, my, my charging cable for my phone. Um, if I travel, I don't bring my printer cables for my laptop to connect to CDJs or controllers because when I'm here in Manila, I know that I can get wires and cables from travel. <laughs> So you know, 
travel light. No, travel light. Yeah. No yeah. need to add extra weight, you know. Travel, yeah. Travel so, light, yeah. so there. Um, and but if I'm in Davao, if I'm just in Davao, I have my tech bag. I have two USB printer cables inside my bag, uh, along with my three extra external hard drives. And these are what brand? Uh, it's a mix, it's basically. A mix. Uh, I, I still have my first generation Western Digital Passport. 320 gig. Yeah, wow, it's probably about to give, but yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, uh, it's almost there, it's actually yeah. almost there. And then I have uh, um, another one terabyte. Uh, to Seagate? No, no, Seagate. 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 I have a Seagate and then another uh, one terabyte laptop hard drive. What was it? Uh, I think it was an OEM from my old old. Ah, MacBook. okay. So it's a it's your old MacBook laptop. Yeah. In a in, a, in an enclosure. enclosure. Oh, yeah. So that's what I bring in my tech bag in Davao. All so, right. So there you go. Those are the portable tech that we guys bring along. We're gonna go more in depth in a while. And now, like what we were saying previously, we're in we're at JP's place, so we want to give. Jake, a little bit of uh, free reign here, and we can ask him about his place. It's it's like a big man cave, basically. It's like a cave. Is it? <laughs> Is it a man cave? No, no, it's a man cave. It's a man cave for him. I mean, and for me and Wacky for him. But I think he's moving out soon, so it will be a bigger man cave. Man cave. And we'll do another video. Yes. And maybe even do a live in the next man cave. But yes. let's um, start off with, of course, uh, the ISP provider. What is the ISP provider of um, choice here? People will frown when I say it's a globe. <laughs> <laughs> um, I swear by it, I've had no problems with them. Okay, that's good, that's good. Um, 100 Mbps down and up. Okay. I've never had is any it, problems. Is it a fiber thing? Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, there is a cap on bandwidth, but I have 2 terabytes. Is it a wireless? Or, uh, Wired. Um, is it a wireless service or is it a wired service? It's wired. wired. It's wired. It's wired. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And, um, and and excuse me, that that goes through the whole building, right? Yes. In the whole, because you're only allowed, like in the Philippines, you're only allowed a certain um, ISP, ISP in a certain area. Yes. yes. Right? If they don't provide it, then you can't have it. Yes. So you have to ask your uh, area what what's available. We had. I I was on a five uh, Mbps connection with. Eight months ago, still with Globe, okay. we recently had the the fiber connection, Upgrade, yeah. and as soon as that happened, okay, automatic. So you're running the automatic. fiber here. Yes. Okay. Um, I won't go into air conditioning because the whole house is basically air conditioning. <laughs> but uh, are you running um, inverters? Are you running or are these uh, what brand? Are these? Uh, these are the Panasonic. Yes. Yeah. All three. Um, um, inverters. The two inside. Yes. Yes. And are they, do you have any like special apps or do you have any plans with them? You know, I have a friend, um, Marco Dolina, he's from the mm -hmm. south in the same day job industry that I do too. And his house is, he's a smart house. Okay, yeah, they right, call it yeah. smart, yeah. House? Yeah, smart yeah, house? Smart yeah. house, smart house. Um, from the light bulbs to air conditioning to uh, Spotify as soon as he enters the room. We can even all like program it with an app, with an app and app, vocal. And voice, yes. Yeah, voice. I voice. think that's. Us being tech heads, yeah. I think that's what we really plan to. Uh, I mean, that's what I want to do from <laughs> from the bulbs till the air conditioning till to same here, spot, same spot, here. everything. But you have a smaller space, and I have a townhouse, and yeah, so that's I'm, 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 <laughs> that's much more work. <laughs> yeah, that's much more work, and I and I can't do permanent work because we're only renting. So, and Wacky, of course, also in Davao is also looking to do a smart house. I mean, we're yeah. all looking, us three are all looking to do smart, smart homes. Yep. Smart, smart homes. homes. Smart homes. Internet of things. Yes. Smart homes. Smart homes. So aside from the aircon, what else do you have? Uh, what other tech uh, is there in, of course, we're in the living room, uh, in the kitchen. Uh, is the ref uh, a typical ref or is it yeah, a smart ref? My ref is a dinosaur. Um, <laughs> I don't think a bigger ref would fit. <laughs> No, but are you planning to get a smart ref? When I move to the bigger place, yeah, yes. um, something more intuitive. Pizza ordering over Wi-Fi. Or, I uh, know, something... Ref like keeping track of, of <laughs> your eggs. Or, what is it? What yeah. or, or a ref JP, that you ran out of eggs. I'm right. ordering now. <laughs> no, I think um, we also, we have seen uh, 
reps with uh, touch screen and Wi-Fi yep. yep. capabilities, yep. which are also inverters. So with the Wi-Fi, I mean, with the signal uh, of the internet going around, going into the house. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Anything else? Um, cameras, um, security camera, IP, like IP cameras. Not no, like, maybe for the bigger place yeah, I would. One, yeah. Um, well, yeah, that's basically it here for the living room because most of the stuff is in the room. No Alexa, yeah. no, 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 nothing, uh, no, nothing, no uh, home pods, no, nothing, nothing, nothing yet. <laughs> ah, there we go. <laughs> yeah. We have a part two. We have a part two. Nothing yes, on his new house, in his new place. <laughs> All right, so that's basically it. Waki is here with me, and let's go. All right, guys. Uh, we're here at JP's room. That's his machine right there, and he'll be giving us a tour in a bit. And the specs will be given by him in a couple of minutes. Let me just flip the camera and get everything ready. Hello. Hello. Okay, so um, this is my setup at home. I don't use I don't use this one for music production or anything DJing that stays with the um, MacBook Pro. So for my peripherals, I have. Uh, a Razer Siren, a Steel Series gaming keyboard together with the mouse, non-mechanical. I have one flat Samsung uh, monitor and one curved Samsung monitor, but the other one I plan to change into a curve. Probably get another one, so it's so there's three of them to complete the setup. And then I have a Sony non 4K, unfortunately, Bravia. Um, my gaming rig, which is housed in an in-win gaming uh, gaming rig. Uh, what's in my rig? Not mistaken, I have four vents, four fans, all LED lit, a Cooler Master, an ROG 1080 uh, video card. 16 gigabytes of RAM, HyperX Kingston. Uh, what else? Running on an Asus motherboard. Uh, running on an i7. Running on i7, yes. And uh, my favorite headphones for gaming, at least. I have three. I have two Razer headphones, which I don't use anymore, but this is my favorite, the ESL rig because of its option to have a Dolby Atmos setting. So when you're talking to someone, they're right beside you. Um, that's besides my PC gaming rig. I have the vintage Nintendo system right here, which I got for really cheap. All the peripherals down here from joysticks to Xbox controllers, which I use for the PC. Um, a PS4 Pro, which I hope will link it to a 4K TV when I move and a Nintendo Switch. That's my gaming setup. I wish it could be my... I should really be focusing on producing, producing setup, but no, gaming first. 